Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put an Apple Silicon M1 MacBook into DFU mode. So on my right here I've got my M1 MacBook Air 2020 and this has the new silicon chip inside it. And the host computer that I'm using is a 2019 MacBook Pro and this has the Intel chip inside it but it's kind of irrelevant which chip it has. This could also be a different Apple Silicon Mac. Um, and as long as we follow some simple steps, we'll be able to uh, put this computer into DFU mode. Um, I struggled to do this myself the first time, so I wanted to make a little video just to demonstrate how to do it reliably. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So the host computer on the left is the, going to be the computer that we use to deliver the uh, firmware upgrade over the cable. So this one is the one that's going to be the one that's working and um, you'll want to install something called the Apple Configurator 2 which is this piece of software and you can get it from the Mac App Store. If you just do a search for Configurator it's this particular utility right there. So um, all you need to do is switch on this application and then you need to insert this cable. Right. So this particular cable that I've got here is the standard um, Apple charger cable actually and this charger cable can also deliver data. So um, on the host computer you can insert this particular cable into either uh, port or if you've got ports on the side that's fine too but on the Apple Silicon Mac or the, the Mac that you're going to use to deliver the firmware upgrade, you need to put it on the USB-C slot that's closest to the hinge, so it's furthest away on the left there. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate how to put the computer in DFU mode. So at the moment, um, you can see this padlock on the DFU mode. That kind of indicates the status. So if I, if I unplug this, if I unplug this cable, that goes away. And then if I plug it in, then it means that it's going to detect it as, as locked again. So that's indicates that there's kind of, it's detecting the status of this computer. So what I'm going to do is boot this into DFU mode by shutting it down first. Um, it's, a, it's important as well that when you plug the power cable in to the, to the correct, the furthest left USB-C port, that you, that this might initiate uh, the computer to turn on, but you need to shut it down again with the cable plugged in. So I'm going to, I've just rearranged my table a little bit so you can see the key, the key sequence more clearly. And also I've moved the window here so you can see um, how it's going to appear. Um, and uh, what we're expecting here is a large DFU square to appear. And so what we want to do here is um, we have a particular sequence of keys to press. So firstly, we have this power button that we hold down for um, 11 seconds. So the first second, we hold it down, and then after one second, we simultaneously press these three keys. So that's the Control, Option, and Right Shift key. And we hold all four of these keys down for 10 further seconds. And then if everything's done correctly, the screen won't turn on, nothing should actually happen, and then we'll see the DFU mode on the right there. So. What, ha what helps is to count it um, out loud. And uh, it's very important that you leave a gap between when you actually press the power button and when you actually press the, the keys as well. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate this to you now. So that again, so 1, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000. 1,000, 1,000. Okay, so here we are, DFU mode initiated, and um, you just have to have a little bit of confidence that that's going to work. So the most common thing you'll do when you've entered DFU mode on the host Mac is that you can either do a revive, which will, um, revive device. So what this will do is clear the firmware and uh, it shouldn't touch the user data. Or if you wanted to restore, you can restore the computer from scratch and um, restore it as if it's from factory settings. It'll reinstall the firmware, the operating system, and it will be as if it's a fresh computer. 
So if I if I click to restore that and, and continued, then this uh, new Apple Mac Silicon will um, be restored as if it's a fresh computer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.